acceleration. When the speed of an object changes, we say that the object accelerates. The acceleration of something indicates the rate at which its speed is changing. Acceleration is rate of change of speed. We can calculate the acceleration using this formula. Average acceleration is change in speed over total time. In everyday language, the term accelerating means speeding up. Anything whose speed is increasing is accelerating. Anything whose speed is decreasing is decelerating. In this case, deceleration is negative. Acceleration is the change in speed divided by the time it takes for the change to happen. So, to calculate acceleration, we need to know two quantities, the change in speed and the time taken. Pay attention to the movement of the car below. The quantities we are concerned with are acceleration, A, initial speed, U, final speed, V, total time, T. So acceleration is change in speed, in speed. change in speed is final speed minus initial speed. Acceleration is measured in meters per second squared because change in speed is measured in meters per second and the time taken is measured in seconds. Pay attention. The unit for acceleration is written as meters per second squared. Now let's see how it works. Example. A bus takes 10 seconds to accelerate from 5 to 20 meters per second. Calculate the acceleration of the bus. Initial speed is 5, final speed is 20 meters per second. Total time is 10 seconds. Take the formula and substitute the values into the formula. The acceleration of the bus is 1.5 meters per second square. It means the speed of the bus increases 1.5 meters per second every second. Note that the initial speed u and the final speed v refer to the start and the finish of the time and do not necessarily mean the start and finish of the motion. Another example. Watch out for the units given in the question. Let's do the conversion and work on meter per second. Initial speed is zero because it was at rest, not moving.
Another example. Take care. Here the train's final speed is less than its initial speed. The minus sign negative acceleration indicates that the train is slowing down. It's decelerating. Negative acceleration means deceleration. When an object is moving with a constant acceleration, we can rearrange the equation of acceleration to change the subject of the formula. If you, you do not remember how to change the subject of the formula, you should see this video before continuing. So let's change the subject of the formula. Take the formula of e acceleration multiply by t both sides. Rearranging the equation, we get this formula. Final speed is initial speed plus acceleration times total time. Let's see how it works. Example. A car moving with a uniform acceleration of 2 meters per second squared has a speed of 4 meters per second at certain time. What will its speed be 6 seconds later? Uniform is the same as constant. Initial speed is 4 meters per second. Final speed we don't know. Total time is 6 seconds. Acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. Take the formula and substitute the values. Final speed is 16 meters per second. Another example. At rest, we know the speed is zero. Take the formula and substitute the values given
final speed is 20 meters per second. Another example. Watch out for the units given in the question. Let's do the conversion and work on meters per second. Take the formula and substitute the values given in the question. Deceleration of 3 meters per second squared means negative acceleration. So the acceleration in this case is minus 3. Take the formula and substitute the values given in the question. Remember, at rest we know the speed is zero.